divine life in which we receive the graces by your death upon the cross with the promise of the resurrection Lord we ask you to pour out abundant graces upon us through the reception of this sacrament through the adoration of you present here that has ascended through our prayers Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and the church was born. We ask for rebirth, a renewal of the church. We ask this through the intercession of Mary and through the graces abundant, won by your death upon the cross, and according to your will, poured out on humanity through the reception of this most blessed sacrament. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come by the means of the powerful Lord. intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Your well beloved spouse, come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well beloved spouse. And Jesus, we praise your presence before us. We worship you. We worship your sacred Eucharistic heart living and beating among us, before us. Jesus, thank you so much for remaining with us in the Holy Eucharist. We pray for all people to come to recognize the truth of your presence among us especially in and through the heart of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist, and Our Lady of Sorrows. During this month of September, which is in honor of our Sorrowful Mother, we will be praying this Our Lady of Sorrows cynical, honoring her as we prepare for her feast day on September 15th, and also the feast of the... Holy Cross on the 14th. And so we bring to you, Lord, all of our hearts, all that's in our hearts. We pray especially for our Holy Father, all cardinals, bishops, and priests, and religious and lay faithful, the Catholic nation throughout the whole world. 
We pray for each of our family members and loved ones, for all of the intentions being brought forth now and later. We pray for the holy souls in purgatory, especially those souls most in need of prayer, especially any of our deceased relatives, loved ones, and benefactors who are still in need of prayer, who have gone before us. Let's just take a moment of silence to remember our deceased loved ones. And we pray especially for all deceased religious priests, deacons, and um, lay faithful that are in purgatory and in need of prayer. And we pray for all the intentions that were brought forth earlier, placing all of these intentions and those still within our hearts into Mary's Immaculate Heart as we pray this rosary for Mary's intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Father. Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the holy intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase of divine faith, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of divine hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of divine love, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave. sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Let us go to the Garden of Gethsemane together now. Because of Christ's hypostatic union, being both inside of time and outside of time, we are able to be there with him now. And back then he he saw us. He knew of our presence. So let us Be with Jesus in this mystery. 
and let us console the heart of Jesus. We read in Luke 22, And he said to them, Why are you asleep? Get up and pray not to be put to the test. And our Heavenly Mother reportedly says, How heavily, even today, weighs on his heart the ease with which so many turn their backs on him to follow the ideas of the world or the ways of those who still reject and deny him. How many of his disciples daily sleep the slumber of indifference, of interior mediocrity, of doubt, of lack of faith. Jesus, help me to watch and pray that I not be put to the test. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. Let 
just take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the agony in the garden as we spend time consoling the heart of Jesus and as he consoles our hearts and our different sufferings that we endure at this time. In this mystery, Jesus desires us to bring our hearts to him and all that's in our hearts, just as we see him sweating his precious redeeming blood. Because of his anguish and agony, his primary suffering is because we did not receive his love and don't receive his love and don't love him in return. And yet he desires us to bring to him our sufferings, the things that weigh upon us, and invite him into our hearts to bring that redeeming love into our hearts, that healing love into our hearts to the point where nothing will take us from his love or from a deep joy and a peace in our union with Jesus. This is what Jesus longs for with each of us. The second sorrowful mystery is scourging at the pillar. M20. In the scourging at the pillar of Matthew 17, we read, Which of the two do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Christ? They said, Barabbas. Mary reportedly tells us, Together with me suffer the judgment of the world, the rejection, the persecution, and the condemnation on the part of a society which continues to deny its God and to walk in the darkness of perversion, of hatred, and of immorality. Jesus, give me the courage to stand with you in the face of judgment, rejection, persecution and condemnation. As we see our beloved Jesus being scourged, let us pray for, in reparation for all the times that we have scourged others with our tongue. Let us pray for all the times those have scourged Jesus through sins of impurity of every kind. all kinds of sexual perversions. Lord Jesus, we pray that by your wounds we may all be healed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. silence in this mystery of the scourging at the pillar let us be there where Jesus is being scourged with his precious redeeming blood flowing let us imagine drops of his blood falling upon us as we are in this mystery and permeating any wounds any areas in our hearts and lives that we're in need of his healing and his redemption and, and as we bring with us our loved ones and all those we're praying for, let us imagine drops of his precious blood flowing upon them as well. Jesus is so very pleased when we reflect upon his passion. When we refle reflect on his passion, it brings great glory to God. Because the passion has won our salvation. The Lord now, through his passion, has given us a reason for the sufferings that we go through. It's called redemptive suffering, which no one talks about too much anymore. 
that we can now unite our sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus and they have meaning and they have purpose and the sufferings are not wasted. Let us pray for the grace to always reflect upon this and unite our sufferings with his because it's uniting our love with his love. Because his suffering is his love. And as St. Paul tells us, count it pure joy when you are involved in every kind of trial. And this is in order that our faith may be strengthened. God, in his great love for us, he allows us to go to very, through various sufferings and trials in order to draw us closer to himself. May we not miss out on this stepping stone of grace. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. For this mystery is courage. This mystery, we recall that when Jesus had been abandoned by those whom he loved and trusted the most, his apostles, totally abandoned and then rejected by his people and condemned by the government of the Romans. He who is our king, not only king of this world, but king of the universe, our Creator, our Lord, our King. It was rightfully His, the throne. And all He desired in being our King was to serve us and to help us, to redeem us, to make us like Himself, to elevate our status, to be kings with Him. And yet, we rejected Him. We ask the question, how could we? How could humanity reject its only rightful king? What courage it took as they mocked him to hold back the power of his hand, to give mercy in place of the rightful judgment that we deserve. To receive the crown of thorns when he truly deserve a crown of diamonds, of, of jewels, of gold. And he takes up the scepter of his cross, of his crucifix. They place a reed in his hand and they spat upon him and they mocked him in his righteousness, in his mercy, his true status as our king. So let us never withdraw for lack of courage from receiving the same condemnation, the same uh, accusations when we, we feel rejected, when we feel ashamed by the mockery of the crowds at our faith our love of our true King, that our, our Catholic faith, that our love of Mother Mary, our reception of the sacraments, that our humble reception of the healing graces given to us by Christ and all the sacraments, especially in the Eucharist. Let us take courage and elevate him and hold him tightly as our King. Mary says, the heart of my son is now, as it were, submerged in the great sea of human ingratitude. How much it, the heart of her son, still loves you. It continues to beat with love for you and it receives only offenses and sins. To you, he has revealed the secret of the Father. He has led you back to him. Now humanity has rebelled 
by the very rejection of God. The flood of atheism is the thorn which now makes the heart of my son Jesus bleed continuously. We pray, Jesus, never let me pierce you with thorns of unbelief. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy, O in these graces of the crowning with thorns. Let us imagine drops of Jesus' precious redeeming blood falling upon our minds and our hearts, renewing us to be one with his mind and heart.
as Deacon was reflecting on the crowning with thorns of Jesus, and as he read the words of Mary reportedly saying, the, the heart of my son is now, as it were, submerged in the great sea of human ingratitude. And what was coming to my heart was that we're living in a day and age where there's a sense of entitlement. <clears throat> that we feel like we, we deserve this and we deserve that and we deserve this honor. And yet we trample upon the honor of our Lord. We trample upon God. We have a great ingratitude towards what Jesus has done for us. We totally ignore him. We spit upon him. We act as if he is a myth rather than a reality. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Let us go to the carrying of the cross, the different stations of the cross. Let us bring with us our own crosses that we carry at this time and unite them with Jesus' cross. We'll just take a moment of silence first to be aware of any crosses that we each carry at this time. And as we bring these crosses to Jesus and unite them to his cross, he will take from us any crosses that are not of him and, and we will receive the grace to carry whatever crosses he asks of us for our own good and that of the world. We read in John 19, And carrying his own cross, they led him out to crucify him. Mary reportedly tells us, My son Jesus, abandoned by all, scourged, crowned with thorns, climbs Calvary with difficulty, carrying the heavy cross on his poor shoulders. He is unable to walk. He totters. There is not one gesture of pity, only hatred, hostility, and indifference surround him. Think, my beloved sons, of the comfort and of the pain of this encounter. Oh, the glance of my son at that moment. In my heart there opened a wound which has never healed. As we see the station of the cross where Jesus and Mary meet, this is what Mary is speaking of, and what great consolation Jesus experienced as he meets Mary amidst all of the cruelty, hostility, hatred, indifference. And Mary is there to meet each one of us as we carry our crosses, to help us to be one with Jesus in our own journeys to Calvary. Jesus, our beloved Eucharistic Lord who is before us, Give me an abiding sorrow for sins against your sacred heart and the immaculate heart of our mother. Who would like to lead? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
the marriage full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the carrying of the cross. Now remind us of our sorrowful mother's presence here with us and always with us whenever we call upon her, especially as we go through different struggles in our lives. She is there with us as she was there with Jesus, helping us carry our crosses, helping us to remain on the crosses that, that God asks us to be crucified, areas that we're called to be crucified, that we may decrease. Unless a seed fall to the ground and die, it remains but a seed. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. May we unite with Jesus in our own Calvaries, with Mary there to help us. The fifth mystery is the crucifixion in john's gospel we hear after jesus had taken the vinegar he said it is accomplished or it is consummated 
and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. We hear the words again, all is accomplished, all is consummated. And Mary, our mother, reportedly tells us these were the last words before the loud cry with which my son Jesus gave up his spirit. The will of the Father has now been done. Every circumstance of his life has been oriented towards this perfect fulfillment. Like him, you too, beloved sons and beloved daughters, have been prepared by me for this supreme moment so that the Father's design may be accomplished in this new hour of redemptive passion for the church. Everything in your life has had this profound meaning. Prepare yourselves to ascend with me, your own Calvary. Jesus, help us. Let our mother prepare us to ascend our own Calvary in this new hour of redemptive passion for the church. And as we reflect on our Lord and his passion and death, I'm reminded of a talk a consecrated religious brother gave. And he said, do you see this cross of Jesus Christ? And you see that you are brides of Christ. He said, this cross is Jesus' bed. And you as brides are called upon this bed for the complete consummation. I never forgot that. I never forgot that the intimacy which God is calling us to with our spouse on his bed of pain. What true spouses even on this earth do not show compassion in their hour of great pain and suffering? So we as brides of Christ as his holy church are called to this intimacy with our bridegroom it is consummated and the church was born from the blood and water which flowed from the heart of Jesus who would like to lead this mystery our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is Give us to this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy, O Soak in the graces of the crucifixion of Jesus. Let us go there together to Calvary, to the foot of the cross, with Mary and John the Beloved and Mary Magdalene. Let us imagine the drops of Jesus' precious redeeming blood flowing as he's suffering and dying for each and every one of us. Let us imagine these drops of blood falling upon us renewing us, bringing new birth into our hearts and our lives, transforming us into his likeness that we had lost through Adam and Eve's fall. And let us bring with us all of our loved ones, all those we're praying for, and imagine drops of Jesus' precious blood falling upon them as well. I was reflecting on this most holy mystery of the crucifixion I was having an image of not only Our Lady our blessed Virgin Mary standing at the foot of the cross but spiritually she was laying on that cross with Jesus Christ her son the Father, the Son, and the Spirit can never be separated. And Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. And she entered into this consummation on the bed of our Lord. And the Virgin Church was born. And Mary is that portal. Mary is that gate of heaven. 
church tradition small t speaks of Mary having a spiritual stigmata of the, all the wounds of Christ, that she suffered in every way with Christ, but just wasn't seen. She is truly the first stigmatist. And even after Mary, Jesus left and ascended into heaven, it is said that when Mary would make the stations of the cross or enter into the passion of Jesus, often those wounds would bleed. Our sorrowful mother. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to thee. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to thee. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrust me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint, Saint Gabriel and Saint Raphael, pray for us. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, pray for us. Saint Pope John Paul II, pray for us. All the holy angels and saints, pray for us. Holy souls in purgatory, pray for us as we pray for you. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the masses said throughout the world today. For all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those within our own homes and within our own families. Amen. And we will read a message reportedly from Mary, from the Marian Movement of Priests, number 579, in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows. During this month of September, and as we are preparing for the Feast of Our Sorrowful Mother on September 15th, it's number 579 in the Blue Book. Mary gave this message in Debrecen, Hungary, September 15th, 1996, toward the end of her messages, on this Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, number 579. Share in my sorrow. 
Share in my sorrow, beloved sons. She tells us to place ourselves there as well in these messages within our own vocations. So you can say, beloved sons and daughters, in your own mind and heart. Share in my sorrow, beloved sons. A sword continues to pierce the soul of your heavenly mother. To the little children to whom I appeared at Fatima, I have wished to show my immaculate heart surrounded with a crown of thorns in order to make them understand how numerous and painful the wounds are which cause my motherly heart to bleed. Share in my sorrow, you who through your act of consecration are called to enter more and more into the refuge of my immaculate heart. Share in my sorrow for the great spread of materialism and hedonism in these countries which have lived for decades under the painful yoke of atheistic communism. My Immaculate Heart has obtained the great grace of their liberation, but the diabolic and Masonic forces are being unleashed, causing to enter into them also the evil which now contaminates the whole world, such as materialism, the mad quest for pleasure and money, the dissolute and obscene entertainment, the pornography and prostitution. And thus, these poor children of mine are again even more threatened and are running a greater danger of being lost. Share in my sorrow for the spread of a subtle and insidious anti-clericalism. The church here has for years been persecuted, imprisoned, crucified, and brought to martyrdom. I wish to recall, among all others, my beloved son, Cardinal Joseph Menzinti, Zenti who has been a symbol and the precious victim of this bloody persecution. Now the church is apparently free, but she is still being obstructed in her mission by the flood of practical atheism, by the sects, by indifferentism and nihilism among the youth, because of which many of them flee from religion, and thus new vocations to the priestly and religious life are far too scarce. Share in my sorrow, because Freemasonry, with its hidden power, is in control, which leads to dissoluteness, to a loss of the sense of morality, to the exaltation of sexual liberty, to the destruction of the family through divorces, birth control, and these abortions which are becoming more and more widespread and legitimized. And so then, you understand how the fall of communism, which took place here in 1989 through a special intervention of my Immaculate Heart, becomes only a sign and anticipation of my one complete and greater victory. This victory will take place with the fall of practical atheism throughout all the world, with the defeat of the Masonic and Satanic forces, with the destruction of the great power of evil, and with the fall of the triumph of and with the full triumph of God in the world, then completely purified by the great merciful chastisement. Just a side note, Mary speaks of this practical atheism and of the masonry, the deep state, the deep, deep church of Revelations 12, 12 and 13. She speaks of this often in this book. 
For this reason I exhort you to filial abandonment, to confidence, and to a great hope. My immaculate heart is your safe refuge, in which by me you are consoled and defended, protected and prepared to live out the longed for and awaited hours of the triumph of divine mercy upon the world. So we will take a moment of silence to reflect on this, to see how our mother may be speaking to our hearts personally. And following this moment of silence, we will have the consecration prayer and then benediction. We will now have the consecration to Mary's Immaculate Heart. It's on A4 in the back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Virgin of power, Mother of mercy, Queen of heaven and earth, refuge of sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement of priests, consecrate in ourselves in a very special way to your immaculate heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion demanded by the gospel, a conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that, like you, we may be available only to do always in this our decision that weighs upon the world. We pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist, and in the world, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the Gospel. That shall be to all a good example of the observance of the law of God and the practical confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your protection, we want moreover to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope. On whom we invoke your 
your special protection. And lastly, insofar as is possible, we promise to lead those souls with whom we come in contact to a renewed devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world. We make it so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother. And we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. Blessed be God and His angels and in His saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament of the altar be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment. In all, all the tabernacles of the world. Yay. Lord of all, we bow before thee. Honor thy scepter claim. All in heaven.